I hate to be the one to tell you, but your portfolio is dying. Unless you've been living under a rock for the past couple of months, you probably already knew this, but the stock market is facing a correction, nosedive, tumble, crash, or you can really put whatever downward moving word you want here. And with all the information and bad news that's constantly being thrown at you, it can be really overwhelming. So whether you just joined a new company and now your stocks are down 40% <coughs> or, Facebook. or you're a brand new investor who just started investing, I want to tell you this, take a deep breath everything's gonna be okay. The stock market's been very good to investors for the past couple of years, giving us very positive returns. Now, if you're a younger investor or a new investor like me, you probably haven't lived through any sort of long-term market correction like 2008 or 2000. And while I haven't lived through any of those times, even as a young person, I'm gonna tell you why I think it's gonna be okay. And this is actually a great opportunity to build some wealth. Historically, the stock market has gone up. And while there have been some not so fun times, the overall market trend has been upwards. There's a pretty popular saying that goes, history doesn't repeat itself, but I think that people forget the next part it often rhymes. Based on historical data, we could be trading sideways or maybe even downwards for a couple of months or years, but the overall market trend is up. There are going to be stocks that aren't going to make it out of this alive, <coughs> Peloton, but that's personally why I think you should be investing into index ETFs so that one loser won't drag down your whole entire portfolio. And based on the research that I've done in the past for these ETFs and the mindset that I have towards my personal finance, I have some real solid conviction about my investment plan. And I really want to focus on that last word that I said, conviction. Wait, not this conviction. Conviction, a firmly held belief or opinion. And I really think the word conviction is a major key in personal finance and investing, especially in a time like this. I did lots of reading and research to basically convince myself that my investment plan is solid. And yeah, you could be really convinced about all that reading and research that you did when your portfolio is printing like 20% a year. But it's when your portfolio starts to do badly and you start to lose a bunch of money where you kind of question yourself and that conviction walks out the door and it's replaced with emotions like fear or doubt. Emotion throws out how your brain thinks and replaces it with how your heart feels. And it's kind of the super villain that conviction has to fight. So how can we reaffirm our conviction while at the same time removing our emotions from investing? I think the first step is to reconvince yourself why you're investing. Ask yourself, has my investment plan really changed within the past year or so? And do I still believe in the long-term outlook of these investments that I'm making? And you could even ask yourself, how long am I in this game for? And once you can kind of answer some of those questions, I think it'll be easier to understand that this is just a small blip in your journey of personal finance. The second step is to remove your emotions from investing. I think the easiest way to do this is to shift your mindset. Ask yourself, who am I investing for? And yeah, of course the answer is, yeah, I'm investing for myself, blah, blah, blah. But I think there's a much better way to frame this. The way that I like to think about it is that there's two yous, current you and future you. The money that you're investing right now doesn't belong to you. It belongs to a cooler and more baller you 10 years down the line. I personally think that if you can separate these two selves inside of your head, you'll have an easier time removing the emotions from your investing. And look, I get it. Seeing your portfolio go down day after day after day is just not good for your mental health. So just don't look at it. Set up recurring deposits, uninstall the app from your phone, unsell from Wall Street Bets, and then just kind of chill. I know that the last couple of years has been really fun to look at your portfolio, make a ton of money, but right now is not so much a fun time. So just don't look at your portfolio. To be honest with you, I have no idea how much my portfolio is down at this very moment. I check my portfolio once or twice every couple of months, and I personally think it's better that way. In my opinion, investing is mostly a mental game. 10% of it is setting up your plan and you know doing that research. But the other 90% of it is making sure not to mess up your own plan. Making it super hard for me to check my portfolio and my balance is part of that 90% effort that I do. And look, I don't know if the stock market's going to go up or if it's going to go down because to be honest with you, I can't travel into the future. I can, however, travel into the past. In the way that I see it, investing right now when everything's in the red is like hopping in a time machine and traveling back into the past a couple of months. And like they say, the best time to invest was yesterday and the second best time to invest is today, which in this case is actually also yesterday. And I think this brings us back to my initial statement as to why we're going to be okay. If you're watching this right now, you're probably around my age. We're young. We have lots of time ahead of us in our lives and in our investing lives. We can take advantage by riding these times and basically saying, I don't have to worry about this until later. So who cares? And I think this is a much better way to invest in general. Like we already made this plan. We did the research. We're just sticking to the plan at this point. Why would I have all this mental pressure and basically try to mess up the plan that I initially done all the research on? Really at the end of the day, it's buy low, sell high. And right now is not really looking like a sell time to be honest. I think going forward with all this uncertainty that there is in the news or in the stock market, you really have to have the proper investing mindset or you're not going to make it out of this in one piece. To understand that mindset and remind yourself why you're investing, you should watch this video right here where I go over paying yourself first.